Today is Tuesday, March 28th, 2023. This is the Not At All Daily video update. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair on sabbatical from the Unitarian Church of Lincoln, where I am on day two of the West Highland Way, about 100 miles across Scotland up into the Highlands. That's Loch Lomond behind me. This is the trail. It's uh, damp. It was beautiful yesterday, but I uh, seem to have lost that. Anyway, I think I'm preaching on what I did on my sabbatical, so I'll try and include a video or two from this hike for that service in July. Until then, hope everything's well in Lincoln. And I'm gonna keep moving. It's also about 45 degrees, so um, movement's good. So it's March 29th, Wednesday, day three on the West Highland Way. Still hiking along the lock, although you probably can't tell, it's, uh, it's down there. It's a famous folk song about Loch Lomond. The famous line is, you'll take the high road and I'll take the ro low road and I'll be in Scotland before you. The story of that song is that it's a Jacobite song written during one of the uprisings about two Scottish soldiers imprisoned in Carlisle. One was to be put to death and one was to be set free to walk home. And in the old folk religion, the low road is the, low, the road that spirits travel to go back to home. And so the song is from the soldier who's about to be executed to his friend who's about to walk home. They'll both get home to Scotland, but the low road is faster. It's a grim story. Um, but as it happens, there's also a low road and a high road along the lock. Um, and I am on the high road at the moment because I choose, choose life. Also because the low road is described as muddy and torturous and it's been raining for two days. <laughs> so, I'm staying relatively dry. It's a little warmer today, which helps. You can tell I'm all foggy. Anyway. I'm gonna keep going. But it is lovely here. I keep hoping I'll pass one of these waterfalls while I'm talking to you, but I haven't yet. All right. So this is, I think, I hope, the last glance of the lock as we climb up and out into the highlands. Just gray, everywhere gray. It's about 10 o'clock on, what is today? I think Wednesday morning. And there's a trail miracle. I am casting a shadow. The sun is out, mostly. And there's the walk for today. Look at that. All right, back to the trail. Well, it's Thursday. March 30th, day four on the West Highland Way. Actually, just about at the halfway point, both in time and about a mile from here is the geographic halfway point. And you can see the landscape looks a lot different now. This is now up in the highlands, out of Loch Lomond. The sun is shining, although there is still uh, water to be forded. Give me just a sec here. There we go. Yeah. It's beautiful now that it's a little bit more open. 
feeling pretty closed in yesterday. <laughs> I talked about taking the high road instead of the low road. As it turns out, everybody takes the low road eventually. So yesterday afternoon was rough, rough, rough. But pretty much as soon as I crested the ridge out of the lock, the sun started shining. And here we are. Geologically, um, these mountains are basically the Appalachian, Appalachians. The continent split and half the mountain range went up into Scotland and the rest ended up on the US East Coast. And you can tell walking, if you just covered that all in trees, it would look like North Carolina. All right, halfway done. See y'all tomorrow. Day five on the West Highland Way. It's Friday. This is the longest single day on the hike. It's 19 miles. Uh, I started about, I think it's two hours ago. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be a day. Uh, but it is really, really beautiful up here. A little later this afternoon, um, the trail crosses Rennick Moor, which is the, the largest uninhabited piece of wilderness in Great Britain. It's supposed to be either the most beautiful part of the trail um, or the most taxing, entirely dependent on the weather, um, because there is no um, shelter for about 10 miles. No trees, nothing to stop the wind. So far, <laughs> there's a sun up there, um, so feeling pretty good about it. We'll see in a couple hours though. So wrapping up day five on the West Highland Way, 19 miles after, uh, after that last video. This is just unbelievably stunning. It's an amazing opportunity to do this. Just an incredible opportunity. Yeah. Mm. And <laughs> I can see where I'm spending the night, right up there, which is good. Because there's a beer and a hot meal there. See you tomorrow. Lunchtime on the West Highland Way on day six. Just came up the uh, the so-called Devil Staircase, um, coming up out of the Glencoe Valley, which is behind me, and headed over to Kinloch Laven, which is about five miles down the road in the next valley. Can feel the end of the trail coming, and uh, and that's a, a bittersweet place. This has been really, really beautiful. And I found myself dictating a sermon uh, while hiking this morning, so it's probably <laughs> about time to get off the trail and get to work with something. Um, but for now, though, shortbread electrolytes <laughs> and, um, and we'll see what comes next. Lunch break on the West Highland Way on day seven. Fort William is just around the next corner or well, <laughs> Fort William's still 10 miles away, but when we round the next corner, um, should see Ben Nevis sticking out, which is the mountain at the end of this walk. Uh, it's bittersweet to be ending it. It's been a really, really special, um, special chance to do this. I'm, I'm really aware coming into the end of it how many um, pieces and people 
had to support this. Um, and how thankful I am for the chance to have done this. Um, Yeah, I don't know if this video is going to capture the sound up here. Just bird song and, and a little river down there in the valley. Um, that's about it. Oh, and a jet. Can't quite get away from civilization. <sighs> be good to see my family. Um, and it'll be good to, to stay clean for more than 12 hours at a time. Um, but uh, I'll be I'll be sad to have this end. Thanks everybody. If you've been watching these. Good morning. Having a good one. you